<laughs> hey guys, you're watching one and only. My name is AJ, and we are back on another episode of Let's Build a City, episode 109. I nearly forgot then. Just racing around the racetrack here. Today, we are going to be building. And he comes first. I'm stuck behind the thing. Yeah. <laughs> Still no way in here. I need to have a, a car park and a road in here. But today, we're going to be building a train station. Now, last time we tried to build a train station was way over on the other side of the map. I think it was where the school was, if I remember rightly. And we'd done a train that was way too big. It was way off scale for our city. So we're going to have another crack. Uh, this time, I, I, I realised what mistakes I made. And obviously the first mistake was that it was too big. And the second mistake was that we are in a relatively modern city. And we were building a sort of steam train. Because I like the look of stream, steam trains. But this is a modern city. We need a modern train station. So, for our modern train station, I thought here would be perfect. And then we'll be able to actually access the city via road, via sea, via um, airport, via air, and by train. So, you'll be able to get here any way that you really want. So, I'm thinking the train station's here. Road going down that goes to the racetrack and the train station. A bit of a car park for the racetrack as well I need to do. And it'll be really, really cool. So the first thing is I've got a different rail design to what we were using. Last time we were using um, stairs and sort of wood as a sort of old style track. But this time, I think we should do a bit more of a modern track. And the way we're going to do this is exactly where do we want this train station. Let's move it over here somewhere. We'll have the track here somewhere. So then if we have... Slabs going along here. Okay. And we're going to do the track maybe f five blocks wide. Something like that. Or three blocks wide. I think three blocks wide would probably be better. I think it'll look, it'll look a little bit more to scale. So we're going to come down here. It's just going to be a short track for now while we exactly work out how we're going to do it. And then instead of using wood and stuff like that, we're going to use anvils because they look like modern trains. Sorry about the noise. They look a little bit more like a more modern sort of rails and they join together, which is really awesome. And then what we're going to do is we're going to get a splash potion and we're going to just fill up half a slab higher so the, uh, the tracks don't look quite as low and quite as deep. So come down here, come down this side. Come down this side. We went one too wide. That doesn't matter too much. And then we can sort of shut this uh, or bring it up to whatever level the platform is going to be uh, in our train station. So as you can see, that looks like a better looking um, track to me. It looks a little bit more modern. Once we get a train on it, you guys will like it even more. So... Let me just, two seconds, I know it's a very early cutaway, but we're going to have to sit the night away anyway. I'm going to extend this track down so we can get a full train in. I shall be right back. <laughs> okay, so I've extended the uh, the uh, railway, but I've also changed it slightly. What I've done is I've put three blocks in the middle instead of two. The track looked a little bit too thin, and I want the train five blocks wide. So then we can have one seat on either side and a nice walkway up the middle once we go inside the train. So I want to be able to go inside the train if at all possible. Obviously we're going to have to destroy these trees so the track continues on. But we can do that later on. I think we now need to concentrate on making a decent looking train. Seeing as though we failed <laughs> so badly last time we tried to make one. Yeah, so five blocks wide. Two blocks on the front. And then what we're going to do is from this block here, we're going to go back 18 blocks. Okay, so one, two... 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 blocks. Okay, and that's how long our the front of the train is going to be and probably how long the passengers are going to be as well. The passenger um, trailers, whatever you want to call them. Uh, what are they called? Passenger bits. You know what I mean. I'm sure you know what I mean. And because this is a modern train, um, the wheels are sort of hidden underneath it. So you don't need to worry about putting wheels underneath it because obviously... Wheels never look all that great when it comes to <laughs> trades. Okay, but that looks pretty good. That looks pretty good. And now what we're going to do is we're going to get our red. I think red and white would be a really nice colour for a train. So we're going to come down here. And we're just going to go around with the red around the outside. Like so. And then we're going to get some glass blocks and panes, both of them. Because we're, we're going to have a nice glass uh, front. Whoops. A nice glass block front on here like... 
maybe like that, maybe another one, two, one or two, something like that. And then we'll have another white one and a white one. And then our doors are going to go in here and we'll probably use iron doors, I think, so we can actually still get in it. Let's get an iron door down and a button so we can get in. Uh, we'll have one there and one on this side at the front. And then we'll also have a door at the back, I think. Okay, but now we're going to use the panes and we're going to, well, I'll tell you what, easier way to do it. We'll put two white blocks at the end here and then all the way down the middle is going to be glass panes like this. Okay, so this is going to hold X amount of passengers. Whoops. And then the next one will hold X amount of passengers and so on and so forth. So there's that. And then on the top here, let's get some quartz slabs so it doesn't look quite as <laughs> urgent of a climb. Let's have quartz there and down the sides. And then in the middle, we'll then put up snow blocks again, I think. It's a shame that we don't have a really white block for a half slab. Because it's sort of a little bit off tone. It's not going to matter too much, but it's just a little bit off tone. Okay, so that goes on the top. And then if we grab some slabs, some normal slabs again. And I think what we'll do is we'll put maybe one here. One, three blocks in between it. Three blocks in between it. Like that. That's looking good. It's looking like a little sort of bullet train style thing. Do we need another door in it? I don't think so. I think only one door will be fine actually. Yeah, that looks good to me. Now, for the front, we're going to put a couple of iron bars along the front here as like a little bumper. And then we're going to get some lights to go in the front here and I think uh, redstone lamps would look really nice. So we're going to put one there and one there. There we go. So there's the lights on the front of the train. I think that looks pretty cool. It looks very, very basic, I know, but modern looking trains are just very bulky in general, aren't they? <laughs> Let me through. Thank you. <laughs> okay, on the inside here, uh, it's going to be nice to see we're going to keep it as simple as possible in here. So we're just going to put down a nice floor like this. Hopefully we can get this whole train done today and a bit of a blueprint to the um, actual whole train station. That would be, that's my goal anyway. Okay, so let's have um, some nice, maybe spruce seats on the inside here. Let's have one there, like that. We'll do the seats like this, I think. And then have tables in between it. Boop, 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 boop. Can we fit one more in? Like that, I think so. And then we'll get some tables down in here. So let's go with um, gray. Dark grey. Yeah. Oh, maybe light grey. Maybe light grey would look a little bit more cleaner. Yeah, I like that. So, tables go in the middle here. I like it. It's a cute little train. I tell you what. Underneath those slabs that we put on the roof, we could put glowstone on the inside so the inside of the train lights up. Oh, I've used the wrong wool, haven't I? Oh, right. we'll use dark wool then. <laughs> I can't be wrong to change it all. Uh, where were they? Oh, I need buttons on the inside so we can get out as well. I forgot about that. Okay, so let's have a hole there. Get some glowstone. Get our slabs back again. So, glowstone slab. Glowstone slab. Oops. Glowstone slab. Snow. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Okay, and then... <laughs> let me in. Let me in. Let me in. Let me in. Uh, huh. Let... <laughs> Let me in the train. Thank you. <laughs> For this bit, I think we'll block this off here. We'll put an iron door and a button on either side so we can actually get in. That opens both doors at the same time. That doesn't matter too much. Okay, and then on the inside here, we'll have a couple of seats, I think. A couple of seats. And then just a few controls here for the... Uh, what are they called? What is a driver of a of a train called. It's not a pilot, is it? Just a driver? I don't know. I've never really thought about it, to be honest. It's probably a really easy answer, and you guys are probably really annoyed that I don't know, but I'm sorry, I don't know. Okay, there we go. Train controls on the inside. And that looks pretty cool. Even at night time, that looks really, really cool. So, I'm going to do a couple of carriages. Let's do a, um, at least the start of it together so you guys don't get annoyed with me for just cutting it out. 
I got hiccups. <laughs> I always get hiccups. <laughs> so we're gonna go 18 blocks again. Oh man, hiccups, they're awful. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. And then we'll have another one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 blocks. I think two two train carriages, carriages, I said, passenger carriages. I think that's what they're called. We'll have two of them like that. Obviously, it's going to be a square. We don't need like a, a rounded nose on it because these are only the, the passenger bits. So then it'll be a red ring around it, then a slab, and then bits on the top. I should do that. I should be right back, and I should sleep this night away. Be right back. Okay, guys. So I'm just finishing off the roof here. I've done the interior while the roof was open. I think that was a, a pretty smart idea to do. <laughs> a little bit easier to get in there. And it's looking pretty good. I really, really like it. So let's put a one there. Leave a gap of three. Leave a gap of three. I think that's how we're going to do it. I think that's just the easy way. Like this. I know it's not dead symmetrical, but it doesn't need to be dead symmetrical on either side. Uh, that's the nice thing about it. Put some slabs along the top here. There's a couple of other things that we need to do, though. So the first thing, we need to actually connect these up. Uh, cobblestone walls, maybe? Obviously, it's an odd number, so we can just do that. That looks pretty good. So we'll have one there. One there. And... We need to have some rear lights on here. I think, in fact, to save on the item frames, we're going to use redstone torches as rear lights. Because, obviously, we're going to have to have rear lights on every single one. Because he might have more than more than one on some occasions. He might have less than one. You know, it might just be him. So, uh, we just need, like, brick lights on them all. But that looks much better. That looks like a much more modern train than what we had uh, before. It's much better to scale. You can get on it. It looks pretty good. The um, This looks a little bit low, though, I have realised now. So, the way we're going to get around this is, with one slab, make it high enough. It's good. Yeah. And then you sort of step in, or another, whoops, or another block up. What would be best? Two blocks up or one block up? If we done two blocks up, then it'll probably be easier to use these blocks. I think that looks pretty good. I think that looks pretty good. Let's get a splash potion and just make sure it looks good all the way down the train. And what I do want is I want another rail with uh, another train on it. A, a, another modern train, but just a different train. A, a, a different looking train. And obviously the platform isn't going to be down on the floor. The platform, let's say if we'd done a, a wooden floor inside the platform, would be on this level. Or maybe a slab down like that. Or like that i haven't decided yet that might look better actually i think slabs is probably the way to go yeah like that and then you can walk up onto here and then into the train um it might be a good idea if at the doors if this obviously isn't going to be in the station i don't think this is going to be leaving the station but maybe in the station if we have things like that so people can get onto the train if they want to i don't know we'll find out when we get in there but i think the train station is probably going to start here so this one's actually exiting out. Yeah, I think that might be a better idea. And then we'll probably have another one in the station pointing the other way, maybe. Something like that. I think that would be pretty cool. Okay, so I want to do another train. It's going to be fairly similar. I think we've got enough time to. I just need to build another track. Okay, so I should be back. Okay, so I've put another track in next to it. And I have made a little bit of a change. What I've done is here, where the platform is going to be. Let's say the uh, train station starts on this line here. We've got the, the platform as high as we had it before. But then from here, it actually fades away a half slab at a time. Until it goes to just the track. And then this just the track bit will continue on. Um, up to the world boundary. Uh, but yeah, it just looks like it sort of fades up into the platform. It looks a little bit more interesting. Uh, I, I really like it. And once we get the uh, whole uh, train station around it, it'll look really good. couple of questions, or one question that I just want to address. People are saying, once this city is done, build another city over there. Uh, I can't. This world is converted from Xbox uh, 360. So it's just an Xbox 360 sized world. It is only as big as this map. So I literally cannot walk any further than this. It stops me here. Um, so yeah, I can't do that. Which is why I surrounded it with trees so I knew where the border was. So I didn't build things too close and then uh, end up messing it all up. 
Anyway, let's get on with a new trait. So this new trait, again, white is a very sort of prestige colour. But I think green for this one. Lime green. It'll look a bit weird next to the grass at the moment. But once we've got the actual whole um, train station in, it should look quite good. I'm sitting on my swivelly chair now and that keeps it keeps turning me away from the screen. So if you hear me like panic, it's because I can't see anymore. <laughs> but this train uh, is going to have a bit more of a pointed nose. Uh, is what I want if we can, if we can pull it off. Something like this. The track might come a little bit further, so I'm not too bothered about that being right on the edge. So a bit more of a point in it. Mm, a bit more than that. A bit more pointed. Yes, yeah, something like that. Sort of a bullet train, almost. And if it's not a bullet train, guys, <laughs> if there's like a couple of real train techie people out there, I do apologise. Uh, it's not a... It's not a bullet train that is a uh, TVXR 3000 XP won't you know don't you know anything about trains <laughs> no I don't that was a really bad impression of some of the people that um, comment on the video sometimes <laughs> I'm sorry guys not meant to offend you <laughs> it's just what some of you were like okay yeah I like that a bit more of a pointed nose <laughs> and then uh, I want this one I want the green wool on this one though to sort of go up a level maybe and I think we want to go 18 blocks from this windscreen again like how we done on the front of the train there so we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 I think is a a nice length it looks about the right length for a train 18 blocks uh, so we'll come back down here and now this green this green maybe if we do the green down on this level right for at the beginning. So have a green there, green there. Do we want two on the front or just one on the front? I think one on the front looks better actually. Yeah, we'll go with one on the front. So the green comes down here underneath the windscreen. Whoops. Uh, here, here, and here. One more. And then I want it to rise up a little bit. Like so. So we go this for, uh, I don't know, that many blocks, how many blocks that is. And then I want it to go up again. But this is obviously the level that the windows are on. But we're going to do the windows a little bit different to what we've done on that train over there. So on this one, we're going to have the door there. So that's exactly the same as last time with a uh, iron door and a button. We're getting to night time again. Uh, there and there. I'll put the floor down in here afterwards. That's okay. The interior is going to be exactly the same as that train, so it doesn't really matter too much. But on this one, I think we'll do the windows like this. Oops. And then we'll have the white blocks in between. And I think that'll just make it different enough from the other train that they both stand out nicely. So go like this, like this, like this. And one more. And then put the white wool between it. I'm so slow. Splash me. There we go. White wool down here. Around the back. And around this side. Excellent. Okay, it's so dark. I'm going to have to stick by that. If you can hear that bang, and I do apologise. I've got someone doing some work for me outside. And uh, he's making a bit of a racket. So I'm going to tell him to shut up. Shut up. Get out of here. Okay, yeah, I like that. That's a different looking train. That's cool. That's cool. Now, let's slab the top. In fact, you know how to do the top. The top's going to be exactly the same as them. So are the um, carriages as well, the passenger carriages. I'm going to do that, and I'm going to be back because we've seen it done before, and we're running out of time this episode. So I shall see you in a bit, guys. Okay, so we're coming towards the end now. Uh, I've got the passenger carriages in. I have changed the roof slightly. I decided to go with a strip instead, and I like it. It makes it completely different to that train. Now, they do really look like two 100% different trains. I'm just going to grab the glowstone to uh, put in the roof here. We're going to have one there, one there, one there. It doesn't really matter where they go. Hello, phone. I have someone texting me. There, there, and there. And let's go two away from the edge. Okay, so two snow blocks and then the slabs. And then two snow blocks. And I think that looks good. Alright, that is looking so cool at night. That's the train design that I went for. The the, the um, 
uh, cabbage design I went for. Some blocks that sort of go up. I think it's seven green blocks, six green blocks, five green blocks is what it works out to be. Okay, so now it's time to couple them together very, very quickly and get some redstone torches for the brake lights. So we'll couple that and then put, whoops, <laughs> put it on the anvil. Put it there and there. Uh, put them on the back here. I'll also put a couple on the back as well. I forgot to do that on this one. I'll put a couple on the back there. Perfect. Uh, you're all coupled. And then you couple you together. And place down some lights. Oops. Not that high. I like them low. I like them down low. Like it down low. Okay. I like it. Let's sleep away this night. Let's have a look at the two trains from a bit of a distance. I really like both trains for different reasons. Oh, what about front lights on this um, TVX, TGX? Is it TGX, isn't it? TGX is like the fast train thing. Uh, on this one, let's go with white wool. As the lights. Like that. No, I don't like that. I don't like that. What about if we have them on here instead? That looks pretty cool. That looks pretty cool. And maybe a button as a little stopper on the front. <laughs> I think they look so cool. I really, really do. They're, I'm definitely really impressed with them. They are definitely much, much more to scale. On this world than on um, uh, the, the last one that we done. Oh man, these hiccups are killing me. They're driving me nuts. Uh, but yeah, I really, really like it. I think they look so cool. They're so different. Both of them are really, really different looking trains. Um, maybe we should just move this back one. I know those item frames are going to pop off. But let's just... Uh, are they going to pop off? Yes, they are. I was going to say. So why aren't you popping? Let's grab that again. We'll do it back here. One there, one there. Put that in there and that in there. Yeah, that looks better. All right, guys, I'm impressed. I'm afraid we didn't uh, have enough. We don't have enough time to actually get the train station in. This might have to be moved over. Oh, have we crashed? We've crashed. That's the second time it's crashed during this episode. We might have to move that river over a little bit, as I was saying. Uh, I still haven't put the roads down back at that skyscraper, which you guys loved last episode. I really, really love it. The more I look at it, the more I like it. Very, very pleased. But we're going to have to leave it there, guys. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button. If you haven't already, please subscribe. And we shall see you in the next episode. Bye!